I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to February's roster reveal. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I could tell you my roster in less than a minute. But I'm going to try to drag it out to at least two minutes, okay? <laughs> so, let's get into the video. Right, so February. It's a very short month, so it sounds like I'm not flying a lot, but... The month's shorter than every other month, isn't it? So remember that, okay? So we are starting off the month of February. I've already swapped the flight. So I got in Moscow and I seen that it was like minus 18 degrees, there's snow, there's not nice weather. I was like, no thank you, sir, I will swap you. So I managed to swap it for a London Heathrow. I would have preferred something else, but it was the first one that got accepted and I'm happy just not going to Moscow. I'll only say that because where our hotel is, you would have heard me say this about a thousand times because I go there like so much. I've tried to not go recently because I've swapped it. The hotel is like an hour and a half away in summer, okay? In winter, can you imagine? It takes like three hours to get to the hotel. I'm not into that life. I'm good, thank you. I'm okay. So I'll go to London and I'll stay at the airport. I'm happy with that. I can take the little tunnel over to the airport, get my little Starbucks or Costa or whatever it is, go to Boots, get my little meal deal, come back, sit in bed, watch my UK TV. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. I've swapped my Moscow for a London Heathrow. It is on the A380. And what else information do I normally tell you? 24 hour layover. 24 hours, 30 minutes. If you want to be fancy. Then come back, got a few days off, and I have a Manchester flight. So I'm heading home. I have a Manchester on the A380. It says it's eight hours. That's long for a UK flight. Not okay. But I'm going home, so it's okay. Get to see the family. And it's on the A380, like I said, and a 24 hour layover. Then I've got a lovely string of days off. And I don't know what to do with them. I'm planning on hopefully doing something because it is over the weekend so it's like i've got a long weekend it's great but then i have my days off i have a flight and i go back to manchester yay it's the exact same flight same time and same layover so a380 24 hour layover same hotel hopefully i'm gonna go home hopefully my family come see me they will they always do and the timing's better than the other ones i prefer the timing that i've got because I get there at like a nice time, can go home or go out and I have enough time to like do stuff that I want to do at home. Then I come back, got a couple of days off and we are going back to America. We are going to San Francisco. It's on the A380 and it says it's 49 hour layover. I'm very excited. It is a 16 hour flight, which is so long if you ask me. Like you can do your first service and have your first break and there's still 10 hours left. Honestly, it's long. But I don't know what I wanna do there this time because last time I went, I went to Napa Valley. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. And we did the vineyards and stuff. So I don't know what I wanna do this time. I'll leave that here. If I've got it right, I deserve a round of applause. <laughs> So every time I edit these videos, I'm like, Sophie, it's the the side with your watch. So hopefully I remembered that. I think it's here. I'll leave the video here. And you can go watch the Napa Valley trip. It was really good. We went with a group of girls that I knew for a long time anyway in Dubai. And it was just a coincidence we were all flying together. So we did that. But if you've got any other suggestions of what to do, let me know. If not, I'll probably just go down to the pier. It might be really cold though, but it gets me out of the hotel because there's not really much around the hotel we stay near the airport any recommendations on what to do in san fran let me know then i come back got a few days off and then i have my two turnarounds of the month i have one to muscat i want to say in Amman. that is on the triple seven it wasn't showing me and the flight is so short it's like an hour block so it's going to be like 45 minutes each way it's honestly the shortest flight but it's also insane right uh, well i mm, i don't think i'm gonna vlog it so i'm gonna tell you now so let me just run you through this flight so for example block time there and back is two hours and now we're there an hour back 
it's obviously going to be less than that it'll be like 45 minutes 50 minutes 20 minutes uh, 40 minutes <laughs> depending on wind but i have to be at work at 20 past six in the morning which means I'd have to leave here at 5.30, which means I have to be awake at 4.30 a.m. And I land back at midday. And then I'll get home at like half one, two o'clock. So if you ask me, that's a bloody long amount of time for a flight that I'm gonna get paid for two hours. Just trying to put it into perspective that sometimes flight time is great, but you also have to be there before and after. So sometimes I prefer the longer flights. This piece of hair is really annoying me. Sometimes I prefer longer flights because it makes it worthwhile getting up early, going there, X, Y, Z. But this flight is gonna be like so easy. It's probably gonna take me longer to get down Shakeside Road than it will to fly there. That's how short that flight is. And then I have another short flight. I have a flight to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. And that is on the 777 as well. And that is a block of two hours. So going there is normally 140 and then coming back is like 120, 130. So it's also a really short flight. And that is two early morning flights. Yeah, so I'll get back both of them around like midday. So that's fine. I've got like the rest of the day to like do my bits, potter around. Hopefully not die of sleep deprivation. And then I've got the last flight of the month is to Durban in South Africa. And that is on the 777-300. All my 777s are 300s, by the way, this month. I don't think I said that. Most of my, all, actually, that's a lie. All the flights I've flown 777 in the last couple of months are 300s. Why was that so hard to say? Anyway, the Durban flight is on the 777 and the layover is 24 hours. Timing not the greatest, we'll say. But any recommendations, do let me know. Let me just see. I don't really remember the hotel. I think I've been there before. No, I have. I, let me check. I've been once before and I think I went diving. Think. But I would like to do it again if the crew are up for it. And there is a few first timers from what I can see. Oh, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm on my phone. That's where I get all the information. Um, so yeah, I'm open to probably do that again, depending on the situation of the crew and if they want to. But if not, I'll figure something out. But that's it. Like that's all my flights for February. It's a super short month, super UK heavy month. I will say, we're the, having a lot of UK layovers. I never feel like I want to film when I'm in the UK because I either go home and I forget, like I'm wrapped up in being at home, or I have a London and I don't go out because I don't feel the need to go out in London. So I never really want to film on these layovers. So I think this month might have a few more day in the life videos, Dubai based videos, those type of things. Just because I've not really got any, I don't want to say exciting, but any crazy layovers that I know what I want to do and I've got like plans. But yeah, we're just going to wing it this month, okay? Come along for the ride because I think it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I have been trying to plan out videos for February and I've got a few in mind. If you've got any other recommendations apart from travel vlogs and day in the lives, let me know and if I can do them, I will. I've got a few in mind that I want to do and I think they're going to be fun to watch. I just have to plan it. So we're going to do a recap because that's what we love doing because people like it. I've got a London Heathrow, A380, 24 hours. I've got a Manchester, A380, 24 hours. Manchester, A380, 24 hours. San Francisco, A380, 49 hours. A Moscat turnaround on the 777. I have a Riyadh turnaround on the 777. And I have a Durban layover on the 777, 24 hours. February, done. Okay, so I am going to leave this video here. If you are interested in watching any of these vlogs, do like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! I lose my breath